It's your boy Nirgul and now I was back with another bang on video. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another bang on because what a night. We've got our best signing from Ghana, ladies and gentlemen. Atletico Madrid in the mud. Thomas Partey. It's party time, baby. So do tune, do tune in uh, 3 p.m. BST, 7.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. We are going to celebrate tonight. We are celebrating Thomas Partey's arrival at Arsenal. Yes, we're going to have a cake. That's the tradition of this channel. We're going to celebrate that. And it's not just going to be that. We're going to celebrate that with something else as well. So don't forget. Sorry. Forget everything and do tune in. And don't forget to actually be a part of it. So yes. Join in the live tonight. And it's going to be really good. We're going to talk about it. We're going to celebrate the best things possible. that that's coming our way tonight. And that's... It's time to party. It's time to party. Yes. Let's move on to the first news. Well, ex-Premier League referee uh, backs Chris Wilder regarding a VAR blunder in Arsenal versus Sheffield United match. Yes. Former Premier League referee Mark Klattenberg said Arsenal defender David Luiz should have been sent off in the fifth minute in, uh, against Sheffield, Sheffield United on Sunday. Well, we all know that there was a lapse in concentration of David Luiz. So, this is what Klattenberg had to say. He said, Arsenal should have been down to 10 men from the 5th minute. And I'm amazed. VAR official Andre Marina did not recommend to referee Lee Mason that David Luiz is shown red. At the very least, Mason should have been advised to consult his pitch side monitor. Olivia Berkey looks to escape David Luiz, who is the last man and tugs on his shirt. Arsenal's goalkeeper comes out to clear, but Berkey would have got to the ball and had he not held back, with no covering defenders, Luis should have gone. So, Chris Wilder is not happy as well. So, the problem is, they believe that uh, Ali, uh, Ali Berke uh, would have gone, uh, uh, well, the game would have been open, he, he would have gotten the ball, he would have, he, you know, it, it, it was a chance on goal, and if David Luis is actually spoiling that, then it would have been a certain red for David Luis. That's the point, that's the point that they're making. So, even uh, Chris Wilder is not happy. Well, uh, Chris Wilder says, the referee has got to show the courage. There are five officials now. I see it and all our staff and sub see it and five people don't. He pulled, he's pulled his shirt. I'm not clutching at straws or grasping. All his shirt has clearly moved. All the stuff with VR was supposed to be about the making the right decision. Is it the right decision? He pulls his shirt when going through and the decision has got to be made. Well, yes, it, 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 it is actually a bad news because Sheffield United have four losses in the four games that they played in the Prem. And that is turning out to be really bad for Sheffield. Though they scored the first goal in the Prem against us, but that still did not uh, change the uh, result. In my opinion, if that was a red card, well, it was a red card for a straight red card in the FA Cup Finals for Cesar Aspiliqueta. But instead, he was given a yellow card by Andre Marina. So I'm pretty much sure that that is a big reason why Andre Marina did not think that it is a card level offense. Well, let's talk about more stuff. Well, Hertha Berlin uh, will pay 4 million euros for Matteo Guendouzi's loan move from Arsenal. The deal does not include an option to buy according to Sport Witness. Yes, they've clearly mentioned it. 4 million euros is what Arsenal is earning from Matteo Guendouzi. Now, this is a very controversial image. <laughs> well, this was posted by Samuel Ziga, PR agent of Thomas Partey. Well, early, quite early. So, uh, everyone thought that, okay, fine. There's something wrong. There's something different. But more importantly than not, we all believed it that it was happening, Thomas Partey deal. But there were certain people. Well, this transfer window, I have literally aged. I can tell you that. And why? I'll tell you that. Because, uh, see, I love doing these stuff, getting you getting you guys news, getting you this, you know, getting going live so that you guys will get the latest and the best news possible. I love to do it. Okay, I really love to do it. But the problem is, People don't seem to enjoy it at all. And yes, uh, some people think that I'm fake. See, it's, my thumbnails are different. My content is different. I generate attention from my thumbnails, but I deliver the best with my content. That's what I try to do. Since I'm not famous, this is the best way for, to go around in YouTube and it's working. It's really working. And uh, for those of people who still believe that I am a liar, I am a false news merchant, where are you now? We've signed Thomas Party, right? So, anyways, I don't care about them at all. So, let's let's see. IGR still grows, even if they grow. Well, Thomas Partey tweeted out that new Ghana kits. Yes, there were two kits. I already put just one. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but, yes. 
He only posted this on his Instagram, so got this image from his Instagram. But more importantly, according to Afton Bladet, Arsenal are signing 18-year-old Malmo striker Nikolai Dus Miller. Yes, six feet four inches tall striker, likened to Zlatan Ibrahimovic, will be joining Arsenal for 430k pounds a week, which is somewhere around five million kronos is the price. But moving on. Well, Paul Merson has opened up about Thomas Partey. He says, I think he's a top drawer player. I nearly fell off my chair. 45 million pounds? I don't think that's a lot of money for the quality of player you're getting here. The one thing he brings as well is, well, discipline. He plays in a disciplined team. So yes, Paul Merson is happy that Arsenal has signed Thomas Partey. And Arsenal have tweeted out, good luck at Hertha Berlin. Matteo Guendouzi, yes, uh, when Doozy will wear a number 8 shirt at Hertha Berlin, already confirmed by Michael Preetz as well. But well, when Doozy tweets out, excited to be back on the pitch and defend the colors of Hertha Berlin. Let's go white and blue. Yes, uh, Matteo is really happy about it. Well, all the best, Matteo. I hope you do well. But talking about different stuff, Atletico Madrid will also have an option to buy Lucas Torreira on loan in 2021 June. Yes, after one year loan from Arsenal, they have an option to buy. Buy option clause price somewhere is somewhere out around would be 21 million euros according to Fabrizio Romano. But let's see about the relationship between Arsenal and Atleti board after Thomas deal unexpected by Spanish side. It's difficult. <laughs> Moving on. Well, for those of you who missed, Thomas Partey will wear a number 18 shirt at Arsenal number 18, ladies and gentlemen, and will now join up with his new teammates at Arsenal next week after he returns from international duty with. Ghana. Well, Mikel Arteta has opened up about signing Thomas Partey. He said, we have been watching Thomas for a while. So, we are now delighted to add such a high quality player to our squad. He is a dynamic midfielder with great energy. He brings a lot of experience from a top club that has competed at the highest level in La Liga and the Champions League for several years. We are very impressed with his attitude and his approach to the game. He is an intelligent footballer and we are looking forward to him integrating into our system and contributing to the progress we are building at the moment at the club. Well, there is one more person who is damn happy about it is Edu Gaspar. He says, Thomas has all the right attributes to be the top player for Arsenal. He is a leader on and off the pitch and he is exactly the kind of player and person we want at the club. We already feel like we know Thomas was very well based on the work we have done analyzing his performance closely in recent times. With his all-round game and positive aggressive style, he will be a brilliant addition to our squad. We've been we made a strong start to the season and we want to continue to build on this with Thomas now part of the club. Well, I'll tell you what, there's one more person who's happy about Thomas Part and that is Harry Redknapp. Thomas Part, he said, Arsenal are definitely improving. They've got a couple of great forwards, have some good kids coming through. Along with Spurs, Arsenal look like they could have a real good season and Partey will certainly strengthen them up. Well, talking about different stuff, well, Atletico Madrid's statement says, La Liga informed them that the release clause for Thomas Partey was paid by Arsenal just 32 minutes before the deadline. Diego Simeone woke up this morning thinking Partey would still be an Atletico Madrid player, man. And La Liga has communicated to Atletico Madrid this Monday at 11.28 p.m. that representatives of Arsenal have appeared at the headquarters of the football organization in order to exercise the termination clause of the footballer Thomas Partey. Yes. And Atletico's statement continued, in this way, the player has unilaterally terminated the employment contract that bound to him to our club until June 30th, 2023. Now, if you don't understand what that means, is it's pretty much clear. Uh, till June 30th, 2023, Atletico Madrid, he would have remained as, a, as an Atletico Madrid player, which means that Atletico were not at all obligated to sell him at all. He was he had, he had three years left in his contract, bro. That is so cool. Well, Omar Rekic, yes, this uh, defender, he joins from Hertha Berlin for a fee of around 1 million euros, as reported by Rick F. Rink, Elf Rink. He will become an Arsenal player from 1st of January after an agreement was reached with Hertha Berlin. Well, congratulations, bro. And uh, talking about departures, that, that could not happen. Siad Golazanac, 11 million euro deal to buy Leverkusen fell through at the final hurdle. He will be at Arsenal still. And talking about uh, keeping up at Arsenal, Paris Saint-Germain wanted to sign Socrates from Arsenal in the last few hours, but only on a free transfer. Arsenal said no as they wanted a fee for the Greek international. 
and talking about another departure that was supposed to happen San Tetian were extremely confident that they will they would have signed William Saliba from Arsenal on loan within the next few hours according to RMC Sport but the deal fell through Saliba was also linked with a move to Fulham but it did not work out so new signings include Thomas Tayo Partey Gabriel Magalhaes William Ronarsson Danny Ceballos on loan contract extensions of Pierre Emerick Aubameyang Buka Yosaka and Gabriel Martinelli and Torreira out on loan. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. And also, Simon Stone from BBC says, to clarify this season, there are two transfer windows. Tonight at 11 uh, BST and then uh, 16th of October at 5 BST, 5 PM BST, sorry. The latter window is between the Premier League and EFL. So transfers can be made between clubs in the two leagues, but not between two Premier League clubs. Registration of 25-man squads for European competition has to be completed by 11 p.m. BST tonight. Effectively, no player signing for a club after this time could play in the Champions League or Europa League games, but they will be available for domestic competitions only. And talking about more stuff, well, Jamie Redknapp has spoken about Partey. He said, his stats are incredible. He's played with Simeone and I was thinking that anyone that works with him, you've got to be a hard-working player. You've got to do all the right things. That area needed strengthening for Arsenal. Arteta understands that. Well, the best signing is the manager. Some players, I thought, they're not good enough. Never mind for Arsenal, the Premier League, and he's turned them into really good players. They're playing in the right way. They've got a system that works. He looks like the real deal. So these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came away, all the views and news and everything. Oh wait. Yeah, all the news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day twice. So sit back, relax and enjoy all the news that comes on this platform. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers. And don't forget to subscribe. We are on a mission of reaching 20, I'm sorry, 13,000 subscribers. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's do 13 first. And don't forget, don't forget to join our Thomas Partey, Thomas Partey party. Yes, it's, it's party time. We're going to celebrate tonight, 7.30 p.m. Uh, Indian Sunday time 3 p.m. BSC. We are celebrating Arsenal signing Thomas Partey. Cheers and have a good one.